Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about things I wish I knew when I was looking for internships as an undergraduate. Before we get to the content, please be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on the video below so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Please be sure to hit that notification bell when you do subscribe because I upload every Friday and every Sunday. Every Friday is a professional development topic and every Sunday is a technical review. Well, let's get to the content. I do want to mention that this is not just limited to internships, but also job searches. I mention internships because I was approached on Instagram to talk about career counseling for petroleum engineering students. I thought, why don't I just talk about things I wish I would have known? That way, you guys can be a little bit more wiser than when I was an undergraduate. When I was an undergraduate, my biggest priority, because I was told by so many people before I entered university, to make sure I get an internship and focus on getting work experience because the oil and gas industry values that work experience. What I wish I would have known during the interview process is that recruiters don't expect you to know everything. Sure, during the interview process, you'll be asked tough questions, but it's okay to say I don't know. When I was interviewing as a freshman, I gave these long-winded answers that didn't necessarily answer the question, and it did not impress recruiters. I went through seven interviews as a freshman, and I went through seven rejections as a freshman, to say the least. That was a skill set that I wish I would have unlearned and stayed humble. The next thing I wish I would have known when I was looking for internships is I should be myself during the interview process. I had this mental image of recruiters wanting the perfect person, the perfect GPA, perfect extracurriculars and the perfect answers, the cookie cutter answers to interviews. When a challenging question came up, it's easy to talk about a school project. It's easy to talk about everything that's career related, but sometimes recruiters might just want to know about your life and your perspective. They want to see if they can have a conversation with you and you show your personality. I did not show my personality in a lot of the interviews that I've done. I was trying to be somebody that I wasn't because I thought the recruiters were looking for specific answers. But had I been more authentic during the process, I think I would have gotten fewer rejections or at least more meaningful connections. Another thing I wish I would have known, and I hope a lot of you can relate to this, but don't beat yourself up if you don't get an internship your first year. Don't beat yourself up if you didn't get the offer. It's a competitive process. You work plenty hard. There will be other opportunities out there. I was really hard on myself whenever I got a rejection or when I didn't get an internship offer my first semester, my freshman year. I ranted to our advisors and other people, and I just exuded anxiety and worry. And that ran me ragged. I wish I, would have, I was nicer to myself during that internship search process. And 
I hope you're nice to yourself too, because it's a lot of work. And if you're not nice to yourself, who else is gonna be nice to you? Another thing I wish I would have known that just because a recruiter said something in that's how you're supposed to get an internship doesn't necessarily mean it works for everybody. This sounds broad, but I'll give an example. I knew I wanted to pursue advanced education since I was a freshman at UT. And when I said that during an interview, and you can refer this to one of my previous videos in why I wanted to get a master's. Those recruiters were mentioning to me that getting a master's was practically useless. And because I would stay longer in school, I was less reliable to be hired on as full time. And that was a reason for them to not consider me for an internship offer. Do not let anybody discourage you and do not let anyone minimize your ambition. If you want to pursue advanced education, you go do it. If you want to pursue another major, you go do it. The world is your oyster. And I thought I had to be somebody that the recruiters wanted. And if those values don't align, then that is not the company for you. I understand that getting an internship is a high priority. And a lot of people say that beggars can't be choosers. But do you want to be miserable for three months? Do you want to feel drained at a place because it doesn't really fit your values? When you interview somebody or when you're being interviewed, you're also interviewing them too. And that's something I wish I would have known when I was looking for internships. It wasn't all about the company. I have some power too. And that's a wrap everyone. Those were the things that I wish I knew when I was looking for internships and this can also be applicable for a job search as well. I was a little bit different as a freshman because I received a lot of guidance in terms of prioritizing internships, prioritizing work experience, because the oil and gas industry does value it. I didn't mention that, oh, I wish I knew that internships were extremely important because I came from a different perspective. But I do want to emphasize to you all that if you are searching for internships or if you are a freshman, it is never too early to search for an internship. You're going to get rejected by recruiters saying that they want somebody that is an upperclassman, but it does not hurt to initiate a contact or establish a relationship with the recruiter. Because guess what? They will keep your resume or they will at least remember you and you'll be on top of their list the next time you fit their qualifications. Again, I came from a different perspective because I knew that internships were extremely important. I wasn't the one that fell through the cracks in terms of never getting an internship or never prioritizing an internship or work experience throughout college. But that is something I want to encourage you all if you're not prioritizing that work experience or internship. College is only four years. The world isn't about attending lectures. It is about applying what you have learned. With that being said, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video and be sure to subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics. And please be sure to comment on the video so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. I'll see you in the next one, everyone.